the distillery is definitely going from strength to strength. Um, in the next few months, there's a brand new still uh, going in um, for the gin. There's a, it has a capacity, it's four times the capacity of the, the still that's already there. So that'll keep production, keep production going because gin is a massive, massive hit. It's not like the product they're making is just an average enough one. Um, when Best Fad came gin in Ireland there a couple of weeks ago, it's doing great for itself. All the other different distilleries use botanicals and you can use botanicals from whatever corner of the world you want. It seems illogical to us to, to make a gin with Mediterranean botanicals or a gin with Oriental botanicals when we have so many that we could choose from here on our own doorstep. So um, we'd forage for, for local botanicals like fuchsia, heather, bog myrtle, um, hawthornberry, roneberry um, and chervil and these are all available here on the peninsula. To make it a London dry gin, it has to be just botanical soaking in the ethanol. You can't have sweeteners or colours added in or anything like that. Purely, the flavour just comes from the botanicals. There was no major marketing budget, there was no advertisements, there was no great drive. Uh, the, the marketing strategy to begin with was giving a bottle of gin and a bottle of vodka into premises and to tell them to look, share it with your customers if you like it, um, then you know where you are and they can place orders. The most popular probably botanical here out of all the botanicals we have is our own berry. It grows on the mountain ash tree. There's one right behind you there. Um, that mountain ash tree, our own berry grows on that. That's just one of the local ones and I think it adds a great touch to it. It's probably one of the most out of all the botanicals, the local ones that goes into the gin as far as the recipe goes. Um, and I think it really does have a big effect on the, how the gin tastes. We have done experimental gins in the past spring, summer, autumn, winter's gin using botanicals outside of what we use in our, our core gin. Um, so it would be nice to return to that and, and showcase more of the different botanicals on the peninsula.